got this idea in my head. Um, wanted to build a club car, wanted to get a golf cart, so I went out and I bought one. And what they don't tell you is that if the batteries are bad, it's like a thousand dollars to replace them. So here we go. Uh, I bought a club car, came with bad batteries. Uh, decided that I'm not going to use the battery, so I'm going to convert it to gas. So here's my little conversion video. We just started on it, ripped it all apart. Um, first thing we did, obviously, we took the body off. The body was real easy to get off. It's just like 10, 10 bolts, so it's uh, one, two, three, so it's six, and then you got four that go here, and you got the one here, one here, and then obviously on the other side, so there's like 10 that hold this whole top on. So we ripped the top off, um, and then the back, you know, you got, there's a couple more that hold that on. There's like two in the front of this thing that would go like here, right there, there's one, two, and then there's the, uh, the two that are underneath this that are in here once you pull off so once i got those off this kind of all just lifted off all right, and then um the next thing we did we pulled the motor out because i saw this thing where you can actually cut this you can cut a little um little opening in this and what you can do is you can actually use this to support your drive shaft so what i did was obviously i took this motor apart um this is actually in a whole bunch of pieces but this would this would be the portion that would plug into that sprocket there okay so once you get that cut out you can then you can cut this you can make room for your spring um, I gotta take this over to a machine shop this is gonna be my drive axle there just gotta take that over to a machine shop and get the um, the actual axle pressed out and then keyed because I wouldn't want to put a keyway in it um, but yeah that goes right in here that and then you can see there's a bearing here and a bearing here and those bearings will be supported by this and this when you take your motor apart there's a bunch of bolts that go through here you're gonna want to gut this motor and take everything out of it so those bolts that go through kind of hold these in this is in there also you got to take that out you got to take this out it's real easy there's just two two screws to hold that in and once you get all that out you'll have this nice empty open chamber I guess to hold your drive shaft um, it's a 15 to 1 turn ratio on this thing so like you can see it's hardly moving and that thing spins a lot so you know when you go to gear it gear it accordingly uh, I'm actually going with a, uh, a really small gear on there and a larger gear on the motor um, that's the motor at first I was going to use this thing for the motor but there's the babe so, can't do that. That would have been sweet though. Um, anyways, we ended up going with this uh, Predator 420cc 13 horsepower motor. Should be plenty of power. I didn't want something too small, so I didn't go with like the small motor. You know, for like 350 bucks, it was like, yeah, why not a Predator? Okay. So, when we first got the Predator motor, I noticed that it was too tall. Um, if you notice in the pictures there, Got all this stuff on the top of it. So that's how it comes. It comes with like the air box and the exhaust and the gas tank and stuff all on top of the motor. So what I did to start out was because I want this thing to look stuck, we removed all that. So there was only a couple bolts that hold the uh, the gas tank on, a couple bolts that hold the uh, exhaust on. That would be obviously where the exhaust would come out of, and then the intake. So I've got to figure something out to do with this, you know, because this is kind of loose now um, we'll figure it out and then uh, you know I've got the pull starter on here I don't know if I'm gonna be able to have clearance for this because I'm gonna try and put it like right here I want this thing to look as stock as possible so right now if you look this would be like the top you know where the seat would go and I want this whole motor to fit underneath the seat and it, right now it's pretty good It'll probably fit under there um, I just have to figure out how to make it so that I can tension it and stuff. Um, I've got a torque converter coming into it, so i got to see what it's going to look like with that torque converter. And we're going to try and get it in here without cutting these I-beams. So hopefully we can get it in there without doing that. Maybe just like do like a body lift or something like that. Just lift this whole bar up a little bit in that one. You know, I could just like cut them off here. 
got this little weld. I don't know. We'll see. And then, uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. I mean, we'll see what happens. Looks like a little roadster right now. Everything's ripped off of it. You know, I got a lift kit coming for it. Um, I got some paint that uh, we had designed up. It's going to be like this flat green color. should be pretty sweet. And then I'm um, thinking about maybe changing the lights out. These look pretty cool. Got those for like 20 bucks on eBay. So we'll see what happens with those. Um, the wheels I'm going to leave for now um, because I don't feel like buying tires. But we'll see how it goes with this video. I mean, these are all the parts, everything I pulled off of that motor. We're going to have to put like a little fuel pump in to get the um, fuel pump, the fuel going and everything to that motor. Uh, you guys have any questions or comments, you know, comment below. If uh, you guys are doing one of these projects and you want a little bit of help, you know, by the time I get done with this, I'm going to be a fucking pro. But, uh, yeah, so that's, that's basically where we're going with it. And, um, you know, stay tuned. Should be pretty cool.